Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet just went public about their relationship at a Beyonce concert. Beyonce calls out Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner for Kylie and Timothy Chalamet making out on her birthday. Queen Beyonce and her lawyer Beehive are buzzing with some serious tea because the electrifying atmosphere of a Beyonce concert also featured a jaw-dropping PR stunt that has everyone's tongue wagging. It seems that Kris and Kim, the masterminds of the Kardashian empire, thought they could pull out a fast one on Queen Bey herself. But the Bay Hive is always watching, ready to sting. As if the night couldn't get any more dramatic, Kylie and Timothy Shamley decided to lock lips right under Beyonce's nose on her own birthday. Oh, the audacity. So just stay tuned till the end because this one showbiz showdown is bound to leave you gasping for air and begging for more. People are upset with Timothy Chalamet for dating Kylie Jenner. So right now there's a rumor that Timothy Chalamet and Kylie Jenner are dating. Well, fans of Timothy are very, very upset by this rumor. Timothy Chalamet and Kylie Jenner's rumored relationship has had the internet talking since April. The couple was recently spotted looking leaps at Beyonce's Los Angeles top on her Renaissance World Tour at the Sophie Stadium in Inglewood, California, seemingly confirming their relationship. As many were taken aback by this happenstance, the Beehive noticed something peculiar, claiming that the car Jenner's capitalized on the Queen's birthday to garner attention to themselves. First things first. Let's acknowledge the undeniable fact that Beyonce is the first to be reckoned with. Her fans, often referred to as Beehive, are fiercely loyal and protective of their queen. After months of speculation, the two were seen together on Monday night at Beyonce's Renaissance World Tour stop in LA. So, when news broke about Kylie and Timothy's steamy encounter on Beyonce's special day, it is no surprise that some feathers were ruffled. Making out on someone's birthday, especially a global superstar, star like Beyonce or to raise a few eyebrows. However, some fans argue that given the current generous PR history, it is disrespectful to steal the spotlight from the birthday girl. They better stop. The beehive does not play, one fan warned with another polling receipts saying, they always do this every time Rihanna or Beyonce have something big going on. I noticed they make Kylie do something for the attention to be on them, shaking my head. I truly hate this family, bro, they need to disappear. The third user simply aired out, nothing surprises me where that clan is concerned. Kylie needs to watch herself, you never know what's around the corner. And the last user claimed, this is why Queen Beyonce doesn't want anything to do with them. Looks like Queen Beyonce and her hive have been given more reasons to be distant with the Kardashians because Shamalit and Jenner's PDA laced first time public appearance isn't the only thing that has fans tweeting away on X. I originally said that Timothy Chalamet couldn't handle Kylie Jenner's ass. I take back everything I ever said. <laughs> Timothy could for sure handle that ass. I mean, did you see them, guys? Kylie and Timothy's lovey dovey moment has appeared to be overshadowed by the latter smoking after video footage of the Dean actress smoking a cigarette while hanging out with the Kylie cosmetic founder at the Star Started show its social media. Many ex users criticized Shamalit for puffing away at the show. Timothy Shamalit smoking a cigar at Beyonce's birthday show for her to inhale does not sit right with me. One fan expressed their frustration. Did they think through this? It seems not. Anyway, the Kardashian Jenner clan has a reputation for their well timed PR stunts. From their controversial social media posts to calculated public appearances, they know how to keep the spotlight on them. So it is not entirely far fetched to think that Kylie seized the opportunity to generate some attention for herself and her famous family, rubbing Beyonce and her fans the wrong way again because evidently this is not the first time the Kardashians at Beyonce have had an awkward moment and the internet has gone into a frenzy since fans couldn't help but speculate about the already strained relationship between Beyonce and the Kardashian Jenner clan. If you missed it, the alleged strained relationship between the Kardashians and Beyonce has been a topic of speculation and gossip for years, captivating the attention of fans and media alike. The origin of the estrangement are said to date back to 2014 when Beyonce and her husband, Jay-Z, skipped Kim Kardashian's and Kanye West's wedding. This fueled rumors of tension between the two power couples, with many speculating that Beyonce did 
not approve of the Kardashian West Union. However, some fans mentioned that Beyonce and Jay-Z have always been notoriously private about their personal lives, so ascertaining that that was the true reason behind their absence. Meanwhile, Beyonce took to Instagram to show everyone where she actually was on vacations in Hamptons. Chris Jenner later told Australian Radio that Beyonce and Jay-Z's absence was the last thing on anyone's mind during the wedding. Wow. The distance between these two powerhouse families supposedly increased when Beyonce's husband Jay-Z collaborated with Kanye West who was married to Kim Kardashian. The collaboration resulted in the album Watch the Throne, which was critically acclaimed but reportedly caused tension between the two families. After they had a falling out, Kanye publicly criticized Jay-Z during a concert, claiming that their children have never played together and expressing his disappointment in their strained relationship. This incident sparked speculation that there was indeed underlying tension between Beyonce and the Kardashians. This is not everything though, because one other incident that added fuel to the fire was the infamous elevator incident in 2014. A video leaked showing Solange Knowles, Beyonce's sister, physically attacking Jay-Z in an elevator after the Met Gala. While the reason behind the altercation remains unknown, it led to rumors that it was related to some sort of disagreement between Jay-Z and Kanye West, which indirectly involved the Kardashian family. The event intensified the alleged feud as there happened the release of Beyonce's hit song Sorry in 2016. The lyrics, he only won me when I'm not there, he better call Becky with a good hair, sparked widespread speculation that Beyonce was alluding to Jay-Z's infidelity and implying that Kim Kardashian was the Becky in question. This led to a flurry of rumors and gossip, further fueling the feud narrative. The tensions intensified when Beyonce released her hit album Lemonade, which included lyrics that hinted at infidelity and betrayal. Many fans speculated that the lyrics were directed towards Jay-Z and since it involved another woman, it led some to believe it was indeed Kim Kardashian in question. In response to the rumors, Kim Kardashian denied any involvement and clarified that that she had a good relationship with Beyonce. However, the speculation continued and fans dissected every interaction between the two women, searching for hidden meanings or signs of animosity which led to many to a new breeze of drama with one of the most memorable moments in this alleged feud that occurred during the 2016 MTV Video Music Awards. Beyonce's groundbreaking visual album Lemonade was up against Kim Kardashian's Snapchat revelation of Taylor Swift's approval of Kanye West's controversial song lyrics, and what's fascinating was it was released the same evening when Kim posted a ton of photos from a friend's wedding in Miami. This incident sparked a massive social media storm, with fans taking sides and fueling the feud even further. Adding to the drama in 2017, Beyonce and Jay-Z released their joint album Everything Is Love, which included a song called Friends. In the song, Jay-Z rapped my wife Beyonce, I brag different, leading some to interpret it as a subtle dig at Kim Kardashian's infamous social media presence and self-promotion. Reports suggest that Beyonce and Jay-Z were not pleased with the Kardashians' perceived attention-seeking behavior and their willingness to exploit their personal lives for fame. Meanwhile, the Kardashians allegedly felt excluded from Beyonce and Jay-Z's inner cycle, leading to a sense of rivalry. Suspiciously, the Kardashian and Beyonce have been involved in several high-profile events where their interactions, or lack thereof, have been scrutinized. For instance, during the 2016 Met Gala, Beyonce arrived fashionably late, leaving the Kardashians waiting on the red carpet. This incident led to speculations that developed some more tension between the two parties. Speaking of Met Gala, Kim found herself under fire as fans accused her of stealing Beyonce's Met Gala look from 2012. Kim defended herself and said she was inspired by Cher's first ever Met Gala gown. She is so beautiful, so happy I met her. Besides that, both have even had their fair share of such a social media shade. Fans have noticed instances where the two parties seem to indirectly reference each other and engaged in such a competition. 
for example, both Beyonce and Kim Kardashian have released fragrances around the same time, leading to comparisons and debates among fans. In a song based seemingly shaded Kim, I'm the only lady here, still the realest in the room. I break the internet, top two, and I ain't number two, she sings. The line can only refer to Kim's memorable 2014 break the internet tagline on Paper Magazine cover, on the cover of which she stripped nude. Beyonce continued, my body, my eyes, my cash, all real. I'm a triple threat. Kim has long been rumored to have had plastic surgery, although she has denied this on her show Keeping Up With The Kardashians, however looks like Beyonce called her out on her plastic lies. Despite the ongoing rumors and gossip, both parties have mostly remained tight-lipped about the alleged feud. Beyonce and Kim Kardashian have been seen together at public events, and there have been instances where they've shown support for each other on social media, and in recent years, there have been seen of a potential throwing in the alleged feud. Kim Kardashian has publicly expressed her admiration for Beyonce and the two have been spotted together at events like the Met Gala and things seem to cool off except that now there has happened the PR situation with Kylie Jenner and Timothy Chalamet that has most likely resurfaced the buried and ignored tensions. So, in the meantime, grab your virtual front row seats, stay tuned, like and subscribe to enjoy the show. This PR stunt has taken the celebrity drama to a whole new level and we can't wait to see how it all unfolds because in the world of Beyonce and the Kardashians, the drama never sleeps.